grew up in a subsistence lifestyle. You know, my family was always fishing, we were farming, you know, we were planting taro. The reef was almost like a playground for us. I've seen things change for the worse. Fish are getting smaller. There's less fish. There's a lot less clams. Corals are not as branching anymore and colorful like they used to. I'm the only marine biologist in the Cook Islands. And one of the very few in the Pacific. It's good to see these islands that are uninhabited because it kind of gives you an idea where your reef should be with the absence of humans. The impact that we put on these systems This has been a very exciting expedition. We've been able to go to two countries, to French Polynesia and the Republic of Kiribati. This was the first scientific expedition back to the Southern Line Islands since the recent warm water event of 2015-16. High temperatures, a couple degrees over what's average, sustained for months at a time. When that hot water sits on top of a coral reef for a while, it can have negative impacts on the corals. And if it gets too warm, we see some death. We weren't sure what we were going to see, and, and we were very eager to find out. A big challenge of our 100 Island Challenge is to learn what are the conditions needed for a coral reef to sustain a warm water event, a big storm, and actually thrive following it. But what we are finding is that local management, local protections do give huge benefits for this ability of a reef to regrow following a climate insult. A simple approach is to use protected areas. In a day and age where we're gonna see shifting climates across the globe, the way that coral reefs will see a future is through regrowth, is through what we call resilience. The management of coral reefs really is key. It's really an encouraging sign that a, a spot that has good local protection, intact fisheries, no pollution, can have a robust coral reef. When we look at the reefs today, I think we're not giving it enough credit. They've been around for so many millions of years. Being able to withstand all these impacts, you know, climate change, cyclones, they're still around. These reefs are, are coming back. We're seeing more recruits of corals, different species of corals coming up. It emphasizes the need to protect these reefs, to protect these fishes that have a role to play in building the resilience of these systems. And they're not just gonna die. They're gonna fight. And we should help.